Well, hello and welcome to this short exercise on sample space diagram. It is a, a high tier GCSE uh, question, and I'm sure it should be okay for uh, foundation level question as well, and similarly for the ninth or tenth grade math. Now, here's a question. Now, this question carries uh, three marks, so I presume you don't need to waste more than five to seven minutes on this question here. Now, to paraphrase, this is a panel uh, by a door. Now, to get into the door, you need to, you need to get the right code. So you have to choose uh, a character from the top row, a character from the bottom row, and a sorry, character from the middle row, and a character from the bottom row here. Now, it says, Sarah knows that the code begins with one, which means that the number two is re redundant. We don't need number two at all. And then she presses one and then enters the rest of the code as middle and the bottom. What kind of probability that she enters the correct code? Now, what comes to mind here is, what do I do? Do I do a tree diagram or a sample space diagram? I think on balance here, the sample space diagram is better alternative here. Now, you don't need to waste as much time as I've done here, because you've got 25 minutes to do this. Right. Um, this, is my, this is my grid here. If I fill in the number, but the, the, the one is constant for every um, space here. So if I enter my uh, my my characters A, B, and C, and then three and four, and then fill in the spaces, and then A four, B four, C four, and my outcomes are going to be one A three, one B three, one C three, one A four, one B four, and one C four. Now, any one of these is the right combination. Could be the right combination, or the right of of number of number and letters here. Is just as saying if I throw a die, what's the probability of getting a five? And that case is one over six. Now, similarly, in this case, one of this is the correct uh, combination. So the answer should be uh, one over six. Now, I hope that made some sense. Please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye bye now.